morning campers. So had a good night with the bands. All oh, speaking of the bands, there is indeed the van for my favourite band, Tick Tick Boom, they called. Absolutely bloody fantastic. This is the site, that's where we are, down there. Um, beautiful site, Sadie's over there with the dog. We're on the seem to be quiet end at the moment. People are going actually at the moment. Uh, and there's the boats up there in the marina. It's Eric. <laughs> it's the missus, gives away his glove. Yeah, oh, she's got a hand full of poopies. So yes. So general touring area there, car park here, boats over there, um, what else are we looking at? Uh, static caravans up there, there static caravans, oh clubhouse, that building there with the corrugated roof just behind that tree, that's where I was last night. Um, Beer with a rock band. Tick, tick, boom. They're really good, actually. Lots of covers. Well, just nothing but covers, but really, really good covers. Metallica, ACDC, Nickelback, that sort of thing. Oh, toilets, by the way, over there at Port Academy. Well, oh no. But there's also brick built toilets over the other side. Here's the pontoon, a pontoon, with all these lovely boats. The gate for security, they give us a pass, a card thing to swipe on the way in. Um, nice big garden for the uh, clubhouse. Uh, there's the band's van again, they must be loading up, loading the gear up. And big warehouse over there, which is where they fix the boats and stuff. And just over there, so that's the static caravan park over yonder you can see where i'm pointing and here comes eric so today we're going to walk pretty much the same walk that i did yesterday but this time the missus is going to be with me because i'd like her to see that pub because it was great and it's near a village called sawley so hopefully we might check that place out sawley and then we'll come back we've booked a table in the restaurant for this evening so that'll be nice we're about six ish so yeah latest take oh and the sun's coming out as well happy days oh it's sunday don't know if i said that sunday at about what 10 no it's probably God, it's about 11 -ish. yeah quarter to 11 quarter to 11. yeah there's the oh no there's a touring i think there's a seasonal touring bit over there and static statics along here and then statics there that's it and the boats over there oh hello just walked into sawley up the river and sawley oddly enough is as you can see, it says up there, it's the home of the old Sawley Brewing Company. There you go, a little bit of history for you. So it's Prosecco time, isn't it, chicken? Yes. There she goes. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, we're just having a relax before we go out to our evening meal. Don la evening which will be in, the table's look for six-ish actually, so a bit early, but yeah. So yeah, that would be nice. And we're just, yeah, we're just finishing off the Prosecco that we started a couple of days ago. No, yesterday, I suppose. Yes, jolly good stuff. Eric's up, is he expecting his tea? Probably is actually, isn't he? Thank you, my little fruit. Anyway, here's Eric. Do you want to see Eric? Ooh, Eric, what are you doing? Morning. Okay, it's now Monday morning the 8th. We're going home tomorrow. Oh no. Had a lovely meal last night, as you probably heard. Uh, nice vegan bit of nosh and the clock warehouse. Um, for those that are interesting, what us interested in what us actually it's not very good English. For those that are interested in what 
we vegans eat, I think that's right. Because um, I know some of you are, you've been asking about uh, how the vegans crack on. Um, I'll probably pop the photos of what we ate up here. We had a very nice starter uh, each. I had bruschetta, Sadie had hummus, and we shared a main course, which is delicious, a pie, a mushroom things, pie thing. Um, it was actually, that was gorgeous, that was. Shared that with extra chips and oh he's doing a number two yeah, sort that out um and then oh yeah we had a dessert each which was a proper vegan um bit of indulgence there chocolate tort no yeah chocolate thing um with vegan ice cream and it was delicious all right hang on a minute i've just got to attend to eric's call of duty Right, eh? so that's that done. There's <laughs> little Eric looking a bit more relieved now. Right then, come on boy, let's go. Now we're going, come on, going this way. He's a little bit reluctant to come this way, he likes to go that way. That's where we went last time, uh, with the canal down there, running along the bottom. It runs along, just along down there. This time, I've had a quick look on Google Maps, we're gonna go out the caravan site up there and onto the main road and turn left and then we'll pick up the canal in the opposite direction, which will be heading towards, I think it's sort of Derby-ish way. Um, doubt if we'll get, well, no, I won't get far, I won't get up to Derby, but we'll walk along the canal a bit there. So I thought I'd take this opportunity, seeing as it's nice weather, to, oh, he is being a bit stubborn. It's nice weather. Um, I thought I'd just show you around the site a little bit. So that's us now, we've lost all our neighbors. Must have been something we said. Playing the music too loud. No, I doubt it. This is where we, you come in. Um, and over the other side, that's where they uh, do the boat maintenance over there. And if you are coming actually for the first time, that's also the office over there where you need to check in. Um, which takes a little bit of faffing around, a little bit of finding, because I didn't realize it was all the way over there when I came. So we had to park up and ring somebody up. But yeah, great big crane there. And that's just working. So you actually come in on this road here. Site entry by caravan, not a problem at all. As you might have seen, I might have included the, um, the approach. Um, but yeah, nice big road. We came from the M1, so absolutely no problems. Nice big main roads, lots of space to turn around and all the rest of that. And what you do is you'll come into the site, drive down here, You'll do a left there, go all the way along there, and then you park up just opposite that white, big white tent. And then there's a phone number there for you to phone the warden to say you're here. So here's the static, static bits and what I would imagine is seasonal pitches. It's lovely how some of these people have got their, their little gardens side the caravans. Oh yeah. The lady laughing at me for some reason. Ah. Perhaps I look a bit funny. Well that's nice as well. You might be laughing at Eric's coat actually. He, I, I don't think he needs it. Perhaps that's why he's going a bit slow. Needless to say his mummy reckons he needs a coat pretty much all the time. But uh, I'm big to differ. Yeah I think I might. Oh no he's speeded up now. It's a little bit fresh. Actually it's lovely weather. I got my shorts on, so it's not that cold. Just a, no, actually it's all right, just a slight little freshness. I've got my coat on as well. So here we are approaching the main road. And yeah, here's the main road that you'll come in off. And yeah, to the right, it's a proper little village with the navigation, the clock thing, and oh, and the Indian takeaway that I went to the other night as well. Yeah, a little takeaway. We today are gonna turn left. I'm sure it's left. Let's think left, or was it? Oh, am I? Yeah, no, hang on. No, it's right. Yeah, we're going right down here. And then as we go further down here, there's a footpath over to the left. So, we'll crack on for now and catch up with you later. 
So just join the canal, just there, just uh, next to that boat on the right. And that's the Shardlow Heritage Centre, because that's where we are. <laughs> Probably mentioned that, I hope, I think. That's the, it says the navigation from the Trent to the Mersey. That's actually the clock warehouse, which is where we were. That's where we were last night, actually, had our lovely meal. And we also had a pint there, didn't we, a couple of days ago. So we're now walking along the Trent. Eric's decided to get a pick, a, pick his pace up a little bit now, thankfully. Um, yeah, lovely. That little house next to the lock reminds me of that pub that we went to, was it yesterday? But if I said yesterday, the missus and I went on exactly the same walk that, um, yeah, I did say, didn't I, that um, I did the day before because I wanted her to see, A, the walk, that was really nice, and also see that pub as well because it was lovely. And that was called the Lock Keepers Inn because it's next to a lock. So, as is this. Oh, this is called Lock House. This is a similar, similar sort of building, actually. So, yeah, that pub was in that bit on the right and it had a cafe in that bit on the left um, where we went yesterday. That's on a different lock. This is Shardlow Lock. It's lovely. Don't do it, Eric! Don't do it! So we've just gone underneath the A50 Southern Bypass. And we're now walking up the canal. I presume it's the Trent. Canal Trent? Trent Canal? Hmm. And we're going, heading towards Aston on Trent, which is where I walked to by road on, I think that was the first night that we were here, on the th 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 Thursday. So we're going towards there, however, I might carry on past there, and then there's a place called Weston on Trent. So we might stop there for a breather, because it looks like there's a pub there. There's pubs in Aston on Trent, but I think we're a bit near that, don't feel, feel like stopping yet. So meanwhile, let's leave you with a little bit of Eric Cam. Come on in. <laughs> so he's been trotting along just fine until I mention those words, Eric Cam. And he knows I'm behind him. Oh, he likes to teeter on the edge, does this one. He used to give us heart attacks, it did, because he was always doing it. But now we feel quite confident he's not, <laughs> he's not gonna jump in. He's not too keen, he, he doesn't swim. I think he probably would if he's forced to, but he doesn't, it's not something he does by choice but he will go for a paddle in a, in a river, or a canal, or a stream. He's quite good actually, he likes to keep himself clean, so if there's like muddy puddles or something, <laughs> he'll go round them, whereas I think most dogs would go through them, make the most of it. Oh, what's he got? Oh, nice. <laughs> Thank you. That's a nice. Long boat. I don't think I fancy living in one of these. Must have been incredibly lucky with the weather at the moment. Just thinking back to our buddies in the coffee vanners. They went away last weekend, a week ago, and they said in their vlog that it was chucking it down the whole time. It's a bit unfortunate. But yeah, happy days. Oh, someone's approaching. Here we go, somebody cleaning out their boat. Eric's having a look. Very inquisitive. Here it Cam. Oh, what's he doing? What's this man doing? Someone cleaning his boat. Come on then. Yeah. 
Oh, there's another doggy. Oh, I might have to stop filming. Oh no, I think we're all right. There it can. Nice boats. A bit warm actually, might have to take me, take me a little hat off. Nice, isn't it? Oh, what we got over here? What's going on here, Eric? Oh, there you go. Just cocking his leg up. Come on, then. Let's go. Let's get trotting. Oh, it's all interesting. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Trot skis. There you go. Yay, Eric can a doggy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, there's a doggy in there. Eric. Come on. There you go. Good boy. Come on then, let's get trotting. Oh no, oh no. Oh, come on, come on. Come on, Eric, let's get cracking. I'm smelling that other dog, come on, come on. That's it, we've got to get going. Come on, come on. Yeah, sun's coming out now, lovely. As you can see, I've taken Eric's coat off. Why it be a bit too hot? He likes to cock his leg, does this one? Bit of a leg cocker, ain't you, mate? Come on then, here we go, let's go. Trot skis, trot skis off skis. So that was under a footbridge. Was this a railway bridge, possibly? Oh dear. Come on Eric, let's go, let's get cracking. Let's get cracking. So we just had a lovely, lovely walk um, by the canal and then we turned off it and we're in Western on Trent now. Um, just turned up at the Cooper's Arms Lovely, lovely place. Uh, just beyond those tables is a lovely, lovely fishing lake. Gorgeous. Unfortunately, it's not open until um, 4.30. So, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna head down here. There's a little green. And I'm gonna feed Eric, the hound. <laughs> Eric, come on, let's go. Come on, drink your food, you're gonna get your lunch. Come on, off we trot. Let's have a good old shake, there you go. Can't beat a good old shake, can you, mate? Come on, come on. Come on, you get your lunch in a minute. So yeah, Western on Trent, uh, walking down here to the little green, lovely little green area. Um, and then he's gonna have his lunch and we're gonna head towards, probably back along the canal and head sort of home direction or caravan direction. Um, stop off at Aston on Trent. Ooh, the houses. Stop off at Aston on Trent because there's a couple of pubs there, so we um, don't want to deprive the little one of a treat stop, do we? Hey, that would never do. Come on, come on you. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's get some lunch. So yeah, we might check out a couple of pubs or a pub in Aston on Trent. I would have walked past there when I walked through Aston a couple of nights ago. Right, here, Aston on Trent. Got a choice of two pubs. I think we're going to choose this one, the Malt. Uh, well, that seems a bit posh than the other one. The other one seemed a bit more, less chainy, I suppose. But no, this one looks all right. Let's have a look. Swizz around. There it is, there's the Malt. Imagine they're doggy friendly. Let's have a quick look in the door, see what it looks like. Oh, it's, oh it might potentially be closed. Is it closed? No, I don't think it is. Alright then. Oh, <laughs> I think he's decided. 
just having a nice pint of proper job in the malt in that place I said earlier, Aston. Um, nice in here actually. Hmm. Eric's chilled. Been having a few treats. He's ready for another one actually. Yeah, you? I'm gonna treat. I'm gonna treat. Yeah, I'll give you one in a minute. So yeah. Lovely. About finished my pint. Nice pint. I don't seem to do any Derbyshire ales at the moment in here. It's only Cornish ales. But yeah, very nice. We'll um, start walking back in a minute. And it should be about an hour going on the, along the canal. If we can find it. It's a little way away from here. It's about a 10 minute walk and then we should be on the canal. So that'll be nice. Yes. I don't think I'll have a pint at the other pub. No, I bet not. Save it for tonight. What a lovely little walk that was. Nearly back now. Um, just go, I came back along the canal. Lovely, it was lovely. So this is Shard Well. This is Shard Well Lock, I would imagine. I think I did a little, um, little bit of video from here earlier at the beginning of my walk. Lovely. See if it's got its name anywhere. That's the lock house. Oh, that looks nice. It's now, ooh, five plus four. That's the clock warehouse that I was talking about earlier. Which is where we were last night. It's great. So yeah, and there's the main road. Just going over that bridge over there. And then I do a quick right and then a quick left and into the caravan park. So happy days. And then what I'm going to do, get home, copy jar. Mrs. of a shower apparently, she had to let me know, which is great. Um, yeah, I'll have a copy jar, maybe a bite to eat. And then about six, quarter past six ish, I'll get the bus and the bus, uh, the bus stops literally just about where the um, where the caravan park is. So that's Andy and see me old the old mucker Snaders. The old salt warehouse. Lovely. Oh, let's get a little bit of a close-up of that. Lovely. 